this is advice too. It's just letting you know that like there's something incoming for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's just not here. Oh, okay. Wee. Gods are chit chatty today. Um Yeah, this isn't it. Okay? This isn't it. Good morning, Virgo. Um I am very excited to have you here today. I'm feeling very good, first and foremost. Uh, welcome to Curios Fates Tarot. I am Tess. I will be your guide today. As usual, if you are new, please check out the description box below for all the information on me and my weird way of doing things. Uh, should we just get right into it? I think we should. Let's get looking at the bottoms of your decks, which are already shuffled. On the bottom of the first, we have the Three of Swords reversed, which is a great energy of healing and <sighs> recovery. And we have the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the second deck. Oh, I'm having trouble with words today. You will have to forgive me. I'm going to say a bunch of things wrong. I know it already. Um, the Eight of Cups on the bottom of your second deck. So you might be feeling at a loss, grieving a little bit, but we are in the process of healing. And you have the King of Cups reversed on the bottom of the third deck. So I'm going to say in the process of healing from, uh, I want to say loss, whether that be a loss of a relation. Mm, yeah relationship or someone who you work closely with like I'm not gonna say work at a job work work <sighs> mm -mm. queen of swords hangman I want to say a eh, I'm just gonna leave it at loss of a relationship for now a relationship between two people of some kind. <laughs> I am getting sort of a fatherly energy as well. And when I say loss, I don't mean dead, though that could very well be. Um, let's just get right to it and not waste time today because y'all know I am good at wasting time. Very, 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 very good at it. All right, I'm going to start with getting you a theme card from my new Citadel Oracle deck, which I love. I'm absolutely in love with this deck. Can I get a theme card for Libra, please? Yeah, the Hunter. Sure-footedness, predestination. Fate. Walking boldly, proudly over the threshold. I am going to say that. It's interesting that there's a noose on this card. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that's all about. I wonder if I can... Nope, this way. But this is a very cool deck of cards. I love the artwork on it. Super simple. Makes me want to get more tattoos. Okay. So on this deck, we had the, you know, I never even looked underneath. Three of swords reversed. And the eight of wands reversed. A star. That's nice. A ten of wands reversed it's like a slow recovery process the chariot reversed seven of swords emperor reversed all right hmm okay Let's just get a few to start and see where this story takes us today. We have the lovers reversed on the bottom. We have the four of wands, the four of swords reversed, 
and the two of pentacles reversed. <laughs> I like this card in this deck. It's these birds taking a pin out of a hand grenade. <laughs> Don't ask me how that has anything to do with like balance and juggling worldly uh, nah, balls. <laughs> but it's a very interesting card. And for me, it's like precarious position in this deck. <sighs> With the four of wands and the four of swords reversed. Okay, I'm really getting, um, oh, what was that? One sec. Was, um, I missed it. I missed it. I was talking. Can you tell me again? <sighs> it's quiet now. Um, darn it. All right, hopefully I get that message again because I missed it. And now I don't remember what I was going to say because I'm distracted. Um, hmm. Now I'm totally zoned. I just want to say, like, releasing the foundation doesn't make sense. It's not the words I want to use. Oh, what is this feeling? Sorry, I just got, like, A, distracted, and I was feeling, like, really giddy and optimistic when we started this. I'm still feeling optimistic, but it's just this, like, nagging feeling in my gut. I'm trying to figure out what it means. It's heavy. Like a... I just want to say I feel like my heart weighs a lot. Like I'm dragging around like it's something that you have to pick up and take with you and it feels burdensome. But at the same time, I'm not getting like a, like a negative feeling from it. It's, it's like willing to pick up your heart and take it around with you. It's, it's less of a burden, more of a responsibility. I want to say that. We've got temperance reversed underneath the lovers reversed and the queen of wands reversed. Ace of wands reversed. Ace of swords. I'm like forging ahead with a very... Mentally at the forefront, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to stop getting distracted and I'm going to clarify these. I think you're trying to build. Coming out of rest and building anew, but it feels like precarious somehow. I get more on this. Whoa, things be turning. All right. Four of wands, please. Is that it? Right. One. Okay, that's 
that's right by that three of swords and the five of swords reversed yeah healing releasing energy we've got do we have the devil on the bottom i don't know how i put that deck back together I think you think you're healing and releasing, but there's something that you're missing, that you're not seeing, that you are still holding on to. We have the Page of Pentacles reversed, the Ace of Wands reversed, the Ace of Swords again. Ooh, and the Nine of Cups reversed. Okay, so I'm definitely getting that. Oh, I really wish I knew what whoever that was whispered to me. It's bugging me that I didn't hear it, and it's really, really bugging me that they didn't repeat it. It was like, sorry, I'm, I'm so distractible. Um, it was like, I said something, and they said it at the same time, so I heard it, but like I didn't catch any of the words. And usually, if I have, like, if it's from one of my guides. And I get whispers like they will prompt me, prompt me, does that make sense? To get it, like they will give me more messages or they will push me in the right direction. But this one just went silent, like totally silent. And I'm getting a feeling like it's an energy that shouldn't be here, like... And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's, um, but I'm not getting like scary, heavy energy off of it. It's just sort of like, I don't know. I don't know, but it's really, really bothering me. Um, So let's get into these cards instead of getting totally distracted. <laughs> uh, we've got the, on the Four of Wands, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, both reversed. And the Nine of Wands reversed, but you have the Ace of Swords upright. So it's almost like you know you have to move forward and you are moving forward. And I think you have your eye on something. You just notice that eye there though. You have your mind set on something. I don't even want to say you have your eyes on something. It's your mind. You're very in your mind right now. But I feel like there's no direction that you're going and there's no passion in where you're going. There's no heart in it. You're just moving forward because you know you have to move forward. And maybe that's why I'm getting the devil here. And we have the Knight of Wands. Again, like forward movement. High Priestess, though. Hmm. But I don't think you see where you're going. Like, not, you don't feel where you're going. That's what I want to say. I think you see where you're going. You see what direction you're headed, but you don't feel it. Um, I get more on this Four of Swords, please. Are you coming out of rest too early before you're fully healed? High Priestess, your intuition's mm, Eight of Pentacles reversed. Four, five? Yeah, Five of Cups reversed. Ace of Cups. Strength reversed. The Hangman reversed. Mm, Ten of Cups reversed, Justice reversed, Two of Cups reversed. Like, I'm... Mm. 
getting like a well-intentioned feeling. I honestly feel like you're just trying to come out of recovery mode too soon. Yeah, because you've got the Nine of Wands reversed on the Four of Swords. The Four of Pentacles. King of Cups reversed again. He was reversed on the bottom of our third deck. And the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Are you trying to get into something new? Maybe some of you. But you're still wounded. <laughs> you're still very wounded and you're trying to create this new foundation and start this new path, this new journey. Maybe focusing on your career and your physical abundance like But I think your intuition's telling you that there's just more work to be done. You're not uh, you're not finished baking. You need to take some time to rest. And I will say this right now because this has been coming through very, very strongly, just collectively. And these are messages that I've been getting just like on my own time. April is the month of rest. Everybody needs to rest. Don't uh, make a ton of plans and forge ahead this month. Rest. Everybody needs to take a step back and just rest. April's not the month, okay? April is not the month for these big plans and big projects and things aren't going to move progress as nicely as you would like to and it doesn't mean don't try completely but just make sure you're taking time for yourself for sure um can i get more on this two of pentacles why are we pulling oh this sort of makes sense to me now because Like, how do I say this? This uh, grenade <laughs> is just laying there and it's, it's harmless when it's just there. But when you pull the pin out, then it becomes dangerous. And I feel like you're trying to pull the pin on yourself too soon. Not that I'm saying you're a grenade. Maybe you are. Maybe that's that feeling I'm getting, but I don't think so. Mm. Mm, two of pathos, please. Boop, boop. Okay. I think some of you are trying to get into another relationship here and it's too soon. Very strong. Um, very strong message. Yeah. Okay, you're trying to start a new relationship. You've gotten out of this one and you're healing from something in the past. Uh, whether or not that's like um, a romantic relationship, I don't know. But you're still healing from something and you're trying to forge ahead with something new. I'm going to say probably a relationship for most of you. Maybe you're like getting back out there dating. You have your eyes set on someone. This eye is just staring at me. But it's it's too soon. You're not fully healed yet. There's still something that you need to address before we can do that. Um, let's expand on our story here. Let's just expand. Sure-footedness, predestination. Is that advice then? Like, make sure you're prepared before you. There's definitely a fate element to that card, though. Thank you. Let me get a couple more. Sure. Okay. 
Six of Swords. Judgment. <laughs> I told you there was a fate element. Empress reversed. Five of Cups reversed. The Lovers reversed again. That's the second one. We've gotten Two of Swords. Temperance. I um, think you're going to be asked to just be patient. <laughs> Yeah, four swords. You're not done resting. Just do some resting. King of swords reversed. The fool reversed. Ace of pentacles reversed. Page of pentacles reversed. You're being asked to, before you move on, before you accept any offers, before you go off into this new chapter, you still need to rest. Because I think you're thinking very logically and you're thinking with your... I'm really okay. If this is another relationship, that's the thing. Like, I'm not feeling your heart. <laughs> I'm still getting a very uh, logical air sign thinking with your head, which is fine. You should <laughs> think with your head, but I'm I'm not feeling your heart. So if you are getting into another relationship, I want to say that it, it feels very practical. It doesn't feel like love at first sight, or it doesn't feel like not a ton of passion. I want to say that, but it feels logical. Like, oh, they make good money and I need money and, or they have a, good job or this person is this or like gonna I don't know I mean it doesn't have to be a relationship like a romantic relationship but I feel like you're trying to and I feel like it's being offered to you whatever this is like this relationship someone's offering you something and your logical brain is like okay but your heart's not in it because your heart's not healed. Your heart needs to heal first before it can accept anything. And I think this message is quite clear here. And I'm pretty sure it's advice. <laughs> See, okay, like moving towards destiny, God's plan for you. But the Empress reversed. I mean, the Five of Cups reversed. Is, I think you need to... I'm going to say you're going to be called to integrate something, like your shadow. Because we've gotten the lovers separate a few times. And it's like bringing the two sides of yourself together, like the light aspects and the dark aspects. And I don't want to say you're completely ignoring them. I think there's just, I think you've tried to do the work, honestly, but there's just something missing. There's something that you haven't addressed, but I don't think you're seeing it. You're not seeing what still needs to be balanced here. Whatever's going on is faded, though. I want to find out what it is. Um, I think we realize what the path forward that you're trying to take is, but I want to know what is it that still needs to be healed? Hmm. Hmm. What? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Can I get more on that? Queen of Cups. Why the Queen of Cups reversed? What? Hmm. Yeah, you've got some shadow work to do. Mm, 
this has got interesting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just sort of piecing this together. Like I'm very, very strongly getting karma. But the karma that I'm getting is like in the future Like, you've been hurt and you've given a lot. I want to say that for sure. You've given a lot. And something's coming... Okay, interesting. Something's coming in to balance that out. Like, something that you deserve is, is incoming. But it's not here yet. And so you're being asked to look inward and just remove the blocks from your heart and, and wait. I'm not necessarily getting weight in the cards. Oh, what's on the bottom of the deck? Maybe that'll help. Strength reversed. Four of cups. Seven of wands. King of pentacles reversed. Six of cups like this just a, um, a download I guess as people call it uh, you're being asked not to take this offer because it's not it's not the offer like this is just a human offer but like the gods have an offer incoming and they're brewing something, but like, it's just not here yet. <laughs> so just focus on healing your heart and doing the shadow work and getting stronger. Because there's something coming that is going to be a lot more meaningful than this, whatever this is. She's being asked to wait for your fate. Does that make sense? Hmm? I need more. This is strange. Oh. Let's change my camera around. Oh, I left the strength. <laughs> oh, well. There's a change coming. A big change coming. And I'm... It's going to require that your heart is open, though. Fully open. Fully, fully open. I think right now your heart is kind of closed off it's still healing um what do i want what do i want here how do i get the answers i want i don't even know here okay <laughs> you had one reading where you were getting like a ton of strength cards just everywhere i'm getting a lot of strength reversed today so Again, like April, time of rest. Rest and gather your strength because I think something's coming in May. I want to say that. Something really good, I think, is coming for you in May. Um, can I just get a few words of advice that we can build on top of here? you build <laughs> yeah <laughs> build your strength that's strong build your strength i think that's the point of it i'm not gonna get anything else one two three yeah build 
Build up your strength. Um, thanks. What is this? Yeah, let's not move forward right now with anything. I think maybe don't move forward with anything that's lacking passion. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's just, no, this isn't, this isn't faded for you. Whatever this is, this isn't yours. And I think that's why you're feeling so passionless about it. Ace of Pentacles reversed again. This isn't your... This, uh... What do you call it? Like, good karma. Like, this isn't what you deserve. This isn't what has been allotted for, allotted for you. I mean, your advice, build up your strength. Don't move forward. Um... Can I get more on this hunter? Sure-footedness. So this is advice, too. It's just letting you know that, like, there's something incoming for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's just not here. Okay. Ooh-wee. <laughs> Gods are chit-chatty today. Um... Yeah, this isn't it, okay? This isn't it. You have something coming. You have justice upright here, and we had judgment upright as well. Um, don't do this <laughs> and avoid this, I think. I don't know what this is. Like, I'm pretty sure it's a relationship for someone. Yeah, it's it's some sort of relationship or situation that you're being offered. Maybe it's like a living situation or new job, a change of something. But it's just like you're not ready for it. Just keep resting. Do the shadow work. Really take in self-inventory. And heal your heart. <laughs> the Tower of Justice and Judgment. Y'all are funny. All right. Um, can I get an outcome then, please? No, geez. No. Why? Okay, okay, okay. The <sighs> Wheel of Fortune reverse. It's just not time, okay? It's not time yet. Your blessings are incoming. Your good karma is incoming. Because you've earned it. Because your heart has been ripped wide open and something's coming in to close it and balance those scales but this ain't it okay this ain't it knight of wands queen of wands knight of cups the world two of wands um you yeah okay um your outcome is passion and heart passion and heart like just I think kind of like ditch these plans <laughs> that's what I want to say you're gonna ditch these plans look forward to something else make just look out at what it is that you really want that finds you passion or brings you ignites your passion I want to say that but there's something coming that's going to really ignite that passion in you. Because whatever this is, whatever the situation is, like it's it's passionless. I didn't get any cards that actually all your wands and your cups were reversed at the beginning, if I remember correctly. And it was just like, blah. All brain, no heart, no magic, no fire. 
So whatever is incoming for you, your outcome, which I'm going to say is like unavoidable anyway. <laughs> so I'm not sure what it is that you have to do other than just build your strength so that you're ready for it when it comes in and that you can accept it when it comes in because it's coming in and you're going to know it comes in. You're going to, you're going to know it. You're going to be able to recognize it by the passion and love and emotion that it ignites in you. You're going to know it. You're going to know it. All right, Libra, this was like only 35 minutes. That's intense for me. That was really, really, really short. All right. I love you guys. As always, Libras, you are my all my subscribers. <laughs> so this was a great reading as always. The gods have you. You're good. Don't worry about a thing. But don't move forward with anything that doesn't bring you joy and doesn't seriously that gut feeling you get when something comes in and it's just like a fire in your belly and you're excited about it and your heart just opens. You'll feel it. You'll feel your heart open. Okay. You can actually feel it. Just practice that while you're resting. Because I mean, that's what you have to do right now is just rest, do some meditating, build your strength and practice feeling your heart when it opens. It's a great feeling. Anyway, this was great. I'm going to go now. Thank you for joining me, Libra. Until next time. Bye-bye.